everyone, Fiesta Manconaccia today, and here at VRDC, super excited to be having Anzu here. Uh, we're talking about ads in VR and how that's really important for the ecosystem. So one thing we like to do just to start off every interview is kind of ask how you got into the space and where you kind of see yourself now currently, like, and what you're trying to do. So, take it away. <laughs> okay. Um, so basically, we started a thing for many years at EdTech, and all of us been in the EdTech industry for uh, years and years. Um, some of us from the development uh, point of view, some from the business and right. marketing point of view. Uh, and we all felt there is something missing, uh, <laughs> just because uh, uh, think about the amount of people that install an app Right. Uh, if they, <laughs> if it was, everything had been okay with the industry, they probably wouldn't do that, right? Because, yeah. Um, and from there, we started the journey, and we uh, found another industry that really uh, needs a, yeah. uh, a, 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 you know, a disrupt, which is the actual uh, VRR advertising, because yeah. uh, you see today uh, all kind of attempts to do uh, um, advertising, which are good to, to, as a start, but you can see they were not built initially uh, uh, for the immersive right. ecosystem. Uh, like trying to take a full screen in Tosisha and making a 360, a new, brand new, a 360 video in Tosisha. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, there have been a lot of, I've seen a few ad companies kind of pop up here and there, and some of them are like on the 360 side, they'll like just kind of interrupt your session with a giant 360 video that plays really randomly. Um, and I think some of the other things are a little less intrusive what you guys are trying to do. So can you talk a little bit about um, kind of what Anzu is and um, how it's kind of different from the comp competition? So um, as the panel already said, the mobile world, the mobile ads world and ad tech world is crying for help. We have a huge gap between end users and what the industry players are doing. And we have a great chance to solve this issue in the VR world. And actually, that's what we've been trying to do. So Anzu is the um, next gen immersive first 3D advertising platform. And we do bridge the gap between user experience and advertising. So we actually believe that ads can bring value, can add value. And that's what we are trying to do. Yes, our apps are not intrusive, they actually enhance the user experience instead of killing it. So, again, like talking about um, game, uh, you have a choice to uh, ride um, just a green or a red car, or you can drive a top branded car. So, what's your choice? That's about no, not And in the end, there is, you know, even one question you can everybody can ask yourself and get yeah. the same answer. Imagine going, I, I don't know, in GTA in the middle of New York. <laughs> Does it make sense you don't see a McDonald's? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's not Does realistic. It feel the Broadway. No? Um, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, if you're trying to match the real world, you need ads. Like the real world. And pretty much if you go throughout San Francisco where we're at right now, every block has an ad some, somewhere or another. Yeah. Whether it's a billboard on the freeway or just like a poster on the and, side of the and building. And what's so amazing about it, not only it's so common, the brands are actually willing to pay for that much yeah. more than are willing to pay for the performance ones. And this means that the upper can actually make more money and sure. the experience could be much better and less intrusive. So it's win, like a win-win win for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Win-win for their users. Win-win-win. So. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, don't, don't let's uh, think. We feel the only reason why it didn't happen so far because of technology barriers. Think about it like sure. this. Uh, uh, today, for 4K gaming and, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and VR helmets and all yeah. this equipment is just... It's keeping on growing up. and growing and growing. Exactly. It's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> These are things you didn't have uh, a couple of years yeah. back. And I think uh, uh, not only... This kind of advertising was thought before, but this time it actually comes to the right, right. market and the right technology level that can actually fulfill all the Everybody promises. Everybody is ready. <laughs> Again, having so many issues in other worlds, yeah. we need the new industry, like fresh yeah. airs. So, so you quickly mentioned, so this is not just for VR, this is for AR, this is for 3D gaming as well. So 
and this is all built through just your SDK and it plugs into Unity and Unreal, right? Yeah, uh, basically it, we have a couple of, there's the SDK itself. Yeah. It supports all major platforms and devices, yep. Android, iOS, Mac, PC, Xbox, and even <laughs> PS4 by the end of the year. Wow. Um, <laughs> so really we got you covered. And not only that, we created plugins for Unity and Unreal, so it's actually drag and drop integration. We have actually a video we can show with you later. One minute from zero empty project to a project with an ad. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the more seamless you can get, the more, more likely Definitely. it's to get picked up, right? Definitely. So that's a win. But in regards to kind of data and data privacy, because um, I know that's another huge contention point that a lot of uh, end users will face. Um, is I guess I, I guess we can talk about it from the development side. Is there a way for a, a developer to, if they're cognizant of what their end users want, to kind of adapt <coughs> the platform to like Definitely. we don't want to use user data all the way to like get me everything about this user. <laughs> um, by the way, this is an excellent question. Uh, and first of all, there is uh, data privacy laws that we abide them all. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we took it to a place where uh, we have a very smart uh, client, mm -hmm. so you can target stuff like the device type of location sure. and stuff like that without them being sent to the server. It's your choice to decide what you I send. See. And this way, a, a, a developer can enjoy the ability to, to bring you the ads that you want to see and relevant to you without hurting the privacy and sending all the data back. And I think that this combination uh, uh, really uh, we really crammed 10 years worth of ad tech from <laughs> mobile native. We are all very well uh, experienced in these fields and crammed it all into one platform uh, uh, and delivered that in a, in a nice package that yeah. is easily integrated. And I think this is like the essence of Ant. So can you talk a little bit about um, how, how you make the ad specific to the user or do you make the ad specific to the experience? Both. Both. Uh, we, we have the... Uh, in-game metric engine, mm -hmm. where the game can report to us all kind of uh, uh, events that happen in the game, okay. and it's very easy with our self-serve uh, uh, dashboard that uh, is operated by both the developer for right. his own campaigns and also by the expert and the account managers to okay. actually leverage the most out of the campaigns of the top brands. Uh, uh, so it gets the both out of uh, uh, two worlds, and you can actually uh, very easily create very interactive ads. The ads can interact to the game metrics; they can interact to each other. Like one ad can create a metric if it was seen or interacted with that another ad will react to, and it, all of that without coding. It's only a very pure Got it. script that you put and the configuration you do in the dashboard. So it's very easy to create very engaging and, and high level of gamification within the ads. Got it. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so my last question here is: a lot of our audience actually uses a toolkit called VRDK. The creator, his name is Harvey, uh, is actually here giving a talk today. And it's something that a lot of developers use to quickly and easily, without majority of the time, without even having to code, actually create a virtual uh, virtual reality experience. Is Anzu and that platform something that you're thinking of integrating into some of these types of toolkits in order to make it even more seamless for users to actually build? Yeah, why not? <laughs> we are open to partnerships. Awesome. Sure. Well, I should introduce you guys. <laughs> yeah, like the industry, we'll the industry happy. is not mature, right? There are yeah. a lot, of, more and more players are arising and uh, enter the market. Mm -hmm. and there are so many opportunities that we can use now and partner and yeah. do big things together. So come on, let's use them. <laughs> and uh, in general, we always believe, uh, and this is, you know, I believe that uh, as businessmen, we should always just open to ourselves to explore uh, opportunities and yeah. connect, especially when the industry is so young and there is so many opportunities. We all try and help each other out and, and really push it. Uh, and so forward. tacky. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's about tech and disrupting. <laughs> wow. It's everything. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it takes everyone to make this industry. Awesome. You need the business side, you need you need the monetization side, you need the development side, you need the art side. And then user acquisition. Yeah, will exactly. Come into play. It's, <laughs> there's so many different moving parts that um, it's just really, really exciting to see and be a part of this whole industry and see it grow. Just even, even from this like really early stage. Awesome. All right. So normally, normally during these interviews where we're doing it live and we have questions. Um, that that come in, but um, I think these are all kind of the questions I have, and I hopefully for the viewers, this is Anzu's. Like it looks really as like an exciting platform to help you 
actually advertise and monetize your game, which is something I know a lot of developers struggle with. So definitely take a look out. It's currently as a private beta right now and coming coming soon. Yeah, we're yeah. Launching. launching soon. So look out for announcements because it's going to be really exciting. And with that, I think that pretty much does it. So thank you so much. It's Confused Man. I'm signing out.